Welcome to BadBoyMowerParts.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to change the hydraulic oil on Bad Boy mowers with Hydro Gear 3100, 3200, and 3400 transaxles. As of 2016, the mowers this video applies to are the ZT and ZT Elite, Commercial ZT, and the Maverick. Now let's get started. Do not attempt this job until the machine has completely cooled down. The hydraulic oil can get extremely hot and will burn you if you do not wait until the transmission completely cools down. To complete this job, you will need one 3 8 socket or open end wrench, one 11 16 open end wrench, a medium sized channel lock style wrench for removing the hydraulic filters, two gallons of bad boy hydraulic oil, two hydraulic filters, one for each side, and an oil drain pan with around an 8 quart capacity to catch the oil drained from the transmissions. For 2015 and older units, you will need a 1 quarter inch Allen wrench to remove the top port plug. The following procedure can be performed with the transaxles installed. Prior to starting this task, have the mower on level ground and lock the emergency brake. Pull and lock the bypass valve for each transaxle. If you do not know where the transmission bypass valves are, please refer to our video on how to disable the transmissions on your mower. The first thing we need to do is locate the hydraulic filter. The hydraulic filter is located under the plastic filter guard on the bottom part of the transaxle. Use either a 3 8 socket or open end wrench to remove the three quarter inch filter guard screws. Once these screws are removed, the filter guard will come on. Place the oil drain pan beneath the hydraulic filter. Be sure the oil drain pan has at least a 12 inch diameter and 8 quart or more capacity. Once the oil drain pan is in place, remove and discard the hydraulic filter. Let the transmission fully drain. Do this for each side. Once each transmission is completely drained, it is now time to replace the hydraulic filters. Wipe the filter base surface off and apply a film of new oil to the gasket of the new replacement filter. Install the new filter by hand. Turn three quarters to one full turn after the filter gasket contacts the filter base surface. Reinstall the filter guard screws. Repeat these steps on each side. Prior to refilling the transmissions with oil, remove the top port plug from each transaxle so that the transaxles can properly vent during the oil fill. Remove the cap from the hydraulic expansion tank. In this example, this mower has one hydraulic tank for each transmission, but yours might only have one tank which serves both transmissions. Fill the hydraulic tank with the bad boy hydraulic fluid until oil just appears at the top of each transaxle top port. Each transaxle takes a little over half a gallon. Once the fluid has reached the top port, reinstall and tighten the top port plug. Once the port plugs are installed and tightened, continue to fill the transaxles through the expansion tank until the full cold line is reached on the expansion tank. Reinstall the expansion tank cap by hand and be careful not to over tighten. Due to the effects air has on efficiency in hydrostatic drive applications, it is critical that the air is purged from the system. Air creates inefficiency because its compression and expansion rate is higher than that of the oil approved for use in hydrostatic drive systems. The first step in removing the air from the system is crank the machine and disengage the emergency brake. With the bypass valves open and the engine running, slowly move the lap bars forward and back. Do this five or six times. Next, close the bypass valves on both sides and slowly move the lap bars back and forth in the forward and reverse directions five or six times. It might be necessary to repeat this procedure a few times until all of the air is purged from the system. When the transaxles operate at normal noise levels and move smoothly forward and reverse at normal speeds, the transaxles are considered purged. You have now successfully changed the transmission fluid in your bad boy mower. We hope you have enjoyed this video. From all of us at badboymowerparts.com, thank you for watching. 
Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to videos regarding servicing and maintaining your bad boy mower.